Easy peasy. Lemon sweet. Wait, that was a quest? Where, where was that quest? And I'm stuck. Look away, chat. <laughs> Never lose control of your build, chat. So chat, these are three of my builds that I have used in PvP often, though I have to worry about my cannon build heavily because, oh my god, I can't aim that for crap because I'm on reverse mode and I'm trying to do that better because of the hovers, but, yeah. Basically, three of my most favorite builds I have modified for the arena. They don't include any uh, bonuses to reputation, but they are max power score, directly uh, dedicated, devoted to only producing effects that go towards killing and armor. I think this is the most amount of stuff I could fit on this build. So theoretically, now that I know, it, I, no, this is actually at mass cap and part cap, so it's only going to reach 87. This is need called need gas gen only because I need a gas gen to reduce the amount of mass going into the uh, going into it, so I can put more hit points on it. Gas gen means more hit points. Uh, this doesn't need anything. It just can't reach 9,000. I, I I can't think of a way. And then, of course, this one is fine the way it is. I don't think this has it, Jim. Well, it does. So, yeah, this is what I'm rocking in the arena. Let's go. Better open it. Never right. Crap. This is what happens when you're not paying attention, chat. So it looks like I'm running my melee. Uh, which isn't good. I wasn't intending on it. Melee is a hard counter. I usually run it when I know for a fact there's something that needs hard countering. I'm running melee into porcupines. That's bad. 
Well. This guy's a god. He knows where I'm going, and you saw where those uh, porcupines were headed already. I'm dead. Oh, or not. So, it looks as though these hills are saving me from this guy's god aim. His aim with porcupines is ridiculous. He has been slinging those absolutely perfectly. If it weren't for the fact that these hills are interrupting his throws, we'd be dead by now. I will not be able to uh, line me this ram up. Let me rephrase, I will be able to. But only if my friend gets out of the way. There we go. Porcupines. We are going to change it up. FU pines are unbelievably strong. And I am truly worried about running into them. Brazil, my man. Thank you for the raid, my man. The cloaky machine, go! Shoot this man directly in the cabin. Got him. Woo! All right, so odds are good he's gonna go back to Fu Pines, but I'm gonna stay where I am. This is a heavily modified version of my previous version, which is the one I use in PvP all the time to extract fuel. This is a 9k version, so it's lower power score by like 500 or so. I'm going to be getting a uh, gas gen soon, so maybe it's not the best decision. Yep, there's the FU pines. Yeah, I should have gone. Amazing. That guy just knows. Are there multiple porcupines on their on their side? Jesus. Oof, never lose control of your build, my man. Again, look at this. He knows exactly where to throw those things. It's torture. Crap. That's alright. There we go. GG's. The even 60. We've unlocked it. What? How did I get 30 experience? How much experience did I just get for that? Does anyone know? Hmm. We're going to swap it off to the cannons. Mm, no, we're not. We're going to stick with the guns. Uh, the reason why we're sticking with the guns is this guy's with retchers. They're going to rush him. You know they're going to rush him. I can't afford to be cannons when they come out in here. They're going to come slapping their way on in, and if I'm not using something to slap them back, we're in trouble. F.U. Pines. So this map is unbelievably good at defending against porcupines, because uh, the freaking uh, this is not a porcupine map, surprisingly enough. 
Oh, great, Warzor. Thank you for getting in the way. Yeah, these hills are insane. This is what I was afraid of. Unfortunately, I decided to try and turn while on the water, so that's death. This water is really brutal for cars. Like, your wheels? No. Fuck your wheels in this water. Uh, they're bringing fire dogs. So, I think the counter to a fire dog is a melee dog. I actually think this, chat. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out today. We're gonna find out how well their fire dogs are built. Our retcher player just got immediately clapped down because he's a baby. He was just like, oh no, my retchers, no, instantaneously slapped off my build, as they always are. He's using Ghost Retcher, which is very interesting. The overall idea behind Ghost Retcher being he wants to use his retchers and, you know, get away with it. This guy's got tracks, so he's in a good spot. Amazing. Well played. We're just going to go away from this man. Unfortunate, chat. Unfortunate. All right. So, melee will counter the porcupines, but unfortunately the small frame that I have in front does have a counter. And every now and again, despite the fact I've shoved everything in front of it, spikes on the ground can counter it, so... And that's what Izzy Zaglu had on the front of his build. He had just uh, hatchets on the front. And those hatchets hit my frame, destroyed my guns. So, we're in a dilly of a pickle. My team is bad, and I'm gonna have to super carry. I don't... why? I don't know what this man is doing. Gas gen on the exterior? I think he's suiciding. I think we're gonna... we're just gonna lose, chat. You don't win them all. This is definitely one of them. You're ju we're just gonna get completely annihilated. I think, um... yeah. How is this man alive? Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Jesus. What? What is this guy's build exactly? Is it just crickets? You put a tiny little plate in front of his gas gin like that's gonna do it? Why would you do that? That is a terrible decision. Whatever works, I suppose, chat. We're trying to reverse sweep. We gotta try hard. Coming back to my team. Oh god, why would you do this? Why would you do this? 
team be crashing. Again, again, he just, why? Oh no, this is the reason why I don't like competitive modes, chat. Competitive modes are kind of brutal because the questionable, the questionable actions of your teammates can totally ruin Really? Hmm. Night. Swapping out to cannons was the right choice. Uh, fuck you, pines are great, but the ranges just aren't there on this map. It's a little bit too open for them. And as long as we stick together and sling massive cannon damage downrange, it's actually pretty good for us. They don't have a good sol solid hard counter for us yet, thankfully. We can walk to the top of the mountain. Oh, here comes the cap cans. Thought he was right there. Oh, there he is. Hello, I'm a spider, so you want to get close and hit me with your freaking porcupines. Ooh, nice shot. Billions of damage. Good job. So the downside of playing spider. They want to hit you with the cap with the porcupine so bad. They do. It's the biggest, baddest thing they could possibly do. They love it because you're big. You take a lot of damage. But you know, oh, we're changing the arena. It is no longer that poisonous, freaking water arena. So melee is gonna be better. Boosters probably gonna help. You gotta watch out for you know everything bad like this. This is, this is terrible. I don't even I don't know what's going on here. We got Warzor on our team again. Uh, this time we're going to go with guns, because guns, chat. Alright, let's get him. We got a lot of D flying directly at us, unexpected. We're going to drop down the decloaker. Not really worried about this. They're basically down a man. These drones are trash. Alright. Got a kaiju, which means that the targets will be elite command. If I lose this, I lose both of those, which is fine, I guess. That should be okay, but losing this, I didn't lose both of those. Okay, is what it is, chat. So let's find out what we have on our rewards. So we did get experience. We got six for winning, right? Not 100% sure how this experience thing works. I mean, I assume you win, you get experience. We've got some people doing some things. We've got other people doing what we like to call the business other thing. Not sure what we're going up against. Linux, Linux 8.
So one of the good things that I'm happy about is I was able to preserve my RN seal and my radar. And I also was able to move my radar and RN seal uh, in a way that they are less vulnerable. Oof. This guy's slinging D for free. Elite Command is coming at us with cannons. So we're going to play at the tops of hills. Tops of hills is uh, problematic. You don't want to be on the lower side of a hill when fighting a cannon player. Lower side of hills is where they can aim at you better. You want to be sure that you're on tops of hills so that their cannon accuracy is significantly hindered. This is going to be a 1v3. This guy should not be following me, but that's okay. Unfortunate. Couldn't take him. Too many direct hits with cannons. I have to look into the reason why when that shot hit the back of me I took so much damage. That doesn't make much, very much sense. This guy's using drones. We've got a melee. Terrible shotgun build. Terrible shotgun build or terrible uh, melee build. Could be tough. So I need to focus on someone that is not that walker. Uh, because the walker has too many hit points. He needs to be the last person focused down. And of course, he's the first one to engage. This is the guy that I want to target for Linux 8. Unfortunately, my ally over here is an idiot and does not have a radar. There we go. In this 2v1, we should be able to kill this man, but for some reason, teammate not good enough. Weird. Alright, so now I've got lasers and cannons. Oh. Yep, lasers and cannons. This guy thinks I won't drive directly towards the fire. He is incorrect. So we're going to find out just how durable my new durable build is. I've been talking about how awesome it is and durable. We're going to find out if I can take as much damage as I thought I could. But I'm not going to leave this circle. Looks like I can take it. All right, so X Hatter X decided to alt F4 because he's a baby, him big baby, big sad. Unfortunate, we lose. Unfortunately, bot killed me. Connor managed to crash into me and that is embarrassing. Want to destroy me is using an awful build. Connor is still alive. I did do suicide damage, which was decent, but...
Okay, so this time around, I cannot... Because we have to do this three more freaking times. Ugh. All right, so Connor's gonna be Connor. We gotta go melee. It's our only hope. They're thinking I'm gonna be uh, ranged. I need to one hit one of them immediately. If I don't succeed, then we lose. If I do succeed, then we win. But it's only gonna work one round. That's the secret of melee chat. You can only do it once. Accelerating to tippity top speed, trying to avoid Connor bot who got me fucking killed last time. This is the guy who I wanted. Uh, surprised to get him. Nope, we just want to keep you right here, buddy. There we go. Yeah, good night. All right. That's. I'm surprised I got the guy I was after, to be honest. This guy is using bumpers on bumpers, very wise. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough for me. He got my cloak, I think, in one. And this moron is not helping. Unfortunately, Want to Destroy Me is the worst player in the game. And he's on my team. We could have won had Quitter quit, not quit, but Quitter Boy quit, so... Sometimes you just can't win. You just cannot win no matter who you bring with you. This is one of those times. Fine. So we get... Is there an experience thing here? Like, I don't see where we gain the experience. You only gain experience when you win. It looks like you only get experience when you win. But how much do you get when you win? Hmm. Hmm. I realize uh, if I'm not going to, if I'm not at mass cap with this build, I can replace all regular frames with standard frames, or at least many regular so, uh, light frames with standard frames. I can. Yeah, this is more or less as lean as it gets. Oh snap, JB Ryder. Uh, what the hell? Okay, never mind. So we've got... I'm... Um, drones. Machine guns. And we're gonna back up machine guns with machine guns. Not a good idea to bring drones here, by the way. If they counter your drones, you are fudged. You are foobar. Fudged up beyond recognition. You don't want to be foobar, chat. And uh, that's what I'm worried about. We've got JD Ryder, great guy, a popular YouTuber in his own right, as well as a Twitch streamer. We're just going to shoot this guy. I don't know what he's doing. Not sure what his plan was. Not 100% sure I care. We're now going to go after Mr. Ryder. JB is, of course, going to be able to laser off all of my stuff because the video game is silly like that. 
Elite Command is a pure tank, and I don't know why this idiot is attacking the pure tank. But I need him, so I will help him do whatever he needs to get me to kill JB Ryder. There we go. I'm trying to tell him to target JB Ryder instead of the guy with insane amounts of durability. Let's see if these guys target JB Effing Ryder, which they should be doing, but they won't. They're all running. They're all gone. He just quit. He just effing quit. Ah, oh, Lord. How are we supposed to play this video game, chat? team. Uh, well, listen, I don't expect to win them all. All right, we're swapping it up because uh, my team is functionally uh, messed up. They don't have it in their brains. They don't know what they're doing. They are bad at the video game. I'm just going to have to uh, do it myself. So my goal going uh, cannons is to punish the shit out of these motherfuckers. Now, I can't do anything because my team bad. They intentionally are not targeting JB Ryder any, under any circumstances. Oh, hey, what's up? Are you out of guns already because they shot them off because your build is bad? We've got this terrible bot. I don't understand why the bot like doesn't attempt to play better, but then again, it is a bot. Uh, we're gonna go melee just because there's no reason not to we're gonna lose there's no way to beat rotfish's build uh not with anything i've brought in order to defeat rotfish i think the only way that i would think that would be genuinely feasible is either porcupines tim no not even tempura like i i'm pretty sure porcupines are the only thing Gonna get rid of the cannons and then drive away. Pretty sure there's nothing I can do to rotfish. Yeah, no, he's like all tracks. He's all tracks, chat. There's nothing that can be done. Just gonna drive in this direction. 
And then we're gonna spin around and do a direct ram. You are not faster. So you have to eat it. There we go, face to face. I can't beat Rotfish, so we're done. I think that the thing that this build needs is a better front bumper. I didn't trust uh, test ramming it enough. It seems to work, but does it? Hold on. Retrieve this, and let's start crafting our gas gin. There we go. Let me check something. We are still underweight, so there's almost no reason not to increase these. Yeah, we're going to change these 1x6s out uh, for 1x6 solids. These two by sixes can change to two by six solids. These can become just two by four solids. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wait, hold on. I didn't save that. We're going to give this a try with the much more solid frame. Not that that's going to change anything, but it's important. You come across a rotfish, you're getting clapped unless you got an ultra meta chat. You need an ultra meta to beat rotfish. I could beat him with this build, but not with his team. His team combined would beat me 100% of the time. Uh, because I can't pick at him. He's covering his team. He's smart. So what Rotfish does that nobody else is doing is he's defending his team. Oof. Punishers. Oh my goodness. We're up against Booty Smack Ugh. and a bunch of other people. Theoretically, I do believe I could beat Rotfish in a 1v, but in, especially with his builds, but in theory and in practice are different things. I've noticed that my acceleration is balls. So that's an interesting change. I may just swap back just because of balls acceleration. Our radar is not picking up anyone. Let's get that decloak out. Excellent. The chase begins, chat. Oh, he figured it out? Did he figure it out? This guy didn't. They tried to 2v. Failed. And now they just get punished. Not even gonna bother turning, just shoot me in the face. It changes nothing, my man. So, a couple things. 
uh, immediately upon noticing this, the ex insane increase to mass has really made this thing handle like a, like butts. Like two butts, just tied together. Butts on butts, chat. It handles like crap. Which is weird. I'm not used to this thing handling so poorly. It's got much better acceleration normally. We're just going to crack that in Viz cheeks right now. Alright, so it looks like I'm not the target, which means I got to get in there and get their attention. Amazing. Couldn't care less about those fire weapons. This guy is bringing effing pyres to a real weapon fight. He used the Forbidden Jutsu. Forbidden Jutsu is up. I can't target him. But the Forbidden Jutsu aside, doesn't matter. I am just as fast as he is. So he can just eat that Forbidden Jutsu. So we gotta protect Mamba. Mamba apparently is the guy they feel is the biggest threat on the team, and that is fair. He does have the Punishers. Punishers do way more damage than what I'm doing at better distances, more reliably, yada, yada, yada. So our goal is to protect Mamba. It's very possible. Oh, it's a 2v2. Amox and Mamba, and each of Yangwa and I are the uh, exceptions. Gotcha. Yeah, they super want Mamba dead. Hello. Unfortunately for you, I don't give a crap about your day. Pew 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 pew. I don't require skill or ability. So yeah, they're super flushing down Mamba, but now they're going to look at the scores and I will bet money that they will regret that decision. I'd regret that decision. Nine experience? Did we get three experience for that? What are we getting in experience? Where does it write what we get in experience, chat? Do we know? I am really looking forward to uh, next level. Uh, honestly. Once I get next level, which will unfortunately only be from the arena, which is going to be level 8 of the arena, level 8 of the arena will then unlock my full power of those stupid little auto cannons, and I'm going to make a stupid little auto cannon build for you guys. And then level 9 will get me some CK. Like, I don't... I don't, I don't know what... Like, I don't know which what these are. A tropical cyclone or I don't I don't know. I want them. Or one of them. But your guess is as good as mine is what we'll get. It's a blue CK, but it could be for anything. We've got caucus. So when you have caucuses, double down with caucuses. You hear heard it here at first, chat. When someone else brings caucuses, you bring caucuses. This guy, oh, he's doubling down instead of tripling down. He should be tripling down. He doubled down. His firepower is a lot lower. I don't know what he's doing.
what is this guy doing? Haley is not bringing the heat. We also have an opponent bringing Triple Caucus. I saw it. You saw it. So the weakness of Triple Caucus, uh, especially our opponent's Triple C, is that he's in line Triple C. There it is. Our goal is to shoot this man in the back. We succeeded. All right, our next goal is to shoot this man in the back. This guy's only defense is, his, is turning. And my goal is now to shoot this man in the back. Well, in the front. Hopefully my ally will... No! What is wrong with you? Oh, well. We could have won. So hopefully, hilarious, this guy thinks. This guy thinks I didn't do anything. Amazing, despite the two kills, hunting down their best players, doing all the work. This guy is following me, hilariously enough. The correct answer is always their seat, their caucus player. I'm gonna target Jeb. Jeb is caught between a rock and a hard place. Excellent. So this time I'm not gonna get anywhere near this guy. We could drive away, like I would have done had I not been blocked. Easy. So, Jaboy is actually not bad, but uh, could be a problem. One of them went cloaked. Yep. We got crappy pyres and crappier mines. All right, we're just going to kill the mine layer because uh, we don't have to worry about anything this guy can do. We just don't have to follow him. Just don't drive behind him. Like, I don't, do not know what this guy is thinking. I'm gonna save this guy from Jaboy. At least I thought I was going to. So I did ram and flip uh, taintly. But it is what it is. Expert can go AFK, it does not matter. He is a non-factor in this video game.
All right, we're swapping. He wanted the attention, he got it. Looks like you can get 60 scrap. Which is a lot. You can get a lot of scrap on this real fast, chat. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized. I think I have premium. I have premium because of the three days of uh, uh, Gaijin saying, we so sorry. This thing handles so badly with the heavier frame. Oh, my God. It really does. It doesn't feel like it to you guys, maybe, but to me, it feels... Like, molasses. Ugh. Ah, Jesus. Uh... Mistakes. I'm gonna lose that gun at minimum. Amazing. Mapo is doing what he wants.
Ains, my man. Sorry about that, that was my phone. Uh, to answer your question, this game mode is Arena. So in Arena, it's a lot like Clan Wars, but not at all. You can solo queue into it. Uh, 9k is the power score limit, no fuel. And yeah, you basically get on a team of 3v3. You have the first to three matches wins. I wasn't AFK. You saw me fighting. I was on the phone. Unfortunately, some people be crazy, and those crazy people be crazy. So my goal right now is to target their laser boy. Oh, great. So my goal now is to hope my team doesn't freaking jerk off and miss. So Mapo has lasers, making him dangerous. Hopefully my laser... There he goes. So I don't give a crap about this guy. This is the guy I care about. This is my man right here. There we go. We got him straight in his everything that matters. And now he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. There it is. We've separated him from his stuff that matters. We're now going to dive this guy and call it a day. Hopefully my teammate will shoot him. Like, what is he doing? Ugh! Teammate, what were you doing? Is he even here? So the problem is, because it's a competitive mode, oh, he's just flailing around like an idiot against the wall. That's on me. I didn't know that this guy was having a stroke. I thought that we had a chance. We don't. Cryomaniac is unfortunately not playing the video game. That's unfortunate. It's on me. I assumed we had three people. That's a problem, Chad. Never assume you have three people. Never mind. I was going to say something back like, please assist your team, but there's no point. He had a stroke, man. Strokes happen. So, what you do is you grab your favorite 9k builds. I'm using the Touche, which is a modified, the modified version of the Touch. Needs Gas Gin, which is a modified version of my um, Swiss Cardboard. And uh, Fatter Jack, which is a modified version of Fat Jack. So these three combined are my uh, weapons of choice. I've come across some ultra meta builds, Haynes. Haynes, I'm not going to lie to you, my man. There are some ultra meta builds out there. Um, and they are in this game mode. And ultra meta are some crazy shit, like um, underbarreled shotguns underneath a booster hover. So, I'm sorry, booster spider. So they boost over your build and they just shotgun you in the face and they just trade with you and they will instantly, if you can't win, you lose. It's just like crazy shit. We're gonna kill Linux. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna try and finish one and then finish the other. There we go. So we got a guy who did not help at all. If you can't win, you lose. Cardboard 2022. Thank you, Haynes, yes. If you can't win, you lose. But no, I'm deadly serious. Like, it's very difficult to harm those spiders. The spiders are just a cabin up top and then, like, all shotguns underneath. They're basically copycatting, uh, uh, what's-his-name's build. Except they add, uh, four Hermes. So they boost into you so you don't get to escape. And basically, if you're a small build, like most builds at 9KR, you're kind of like a normal car, like mine or his or everybody's. You're too small to get out from underneath it. And they just ram into you. Okay, this guy is using his growl cabin. And we're just going to stab these fools in the butt. That's all we gotta do. Use our butt stabs. Good shooting, lads. Keep it up. 
Turns out Rear Admiral knows what he's doing. Is there a league or ranking? Uh, I think maybe? A lot of this stuff is still confusing to me, to be honest. So, for example, I don't know how, what's giving me experience. I assume wins are. I don't think you get experience on losses. Like, by experience, I mean this doesn't even give you, like, uh, what's that stuff called? It doesn't give you reputation, per se. I mean, it does. I'm sure it does. But it doesn't give you, um, like, I'll, I'll show you after this. Like, experience values are very low, is what I'm saying. Parsers. Hilarious. Let me get it, Parser. Let me get it. Face me. Face me, Parser. Oh god, no, why would you do this? Why would you do this? No! I'm gonna die! We're gonna die here because- Oh no! Why would you do that? Never lose control of your build chat, no! I think the Parsers are more dangerous. So we won, which is good. Now the question you had is like, where's my experience receive, right? It gives me scrap metal, gives me points, like, but it's not gonna tell me how much experience I earned, right? So when I battle or close, it doesn't matter, right? I go to the, my rewards, I'm at 15 experience, but I don't know what gives me experience. Like it doesn't say how much experience I got, uh, Nothing. And for some reason, this doesn't count as a brawl. Does this count as a brawl? It should. But anyway, this is 29 days. There is the thing here. I don't think there is a... I'm pretty sure there is not a... Um... Oh, what's it called? You get three per win and zero for loss. Okay, Black Crown, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Because I've been looking at this and I'm like, I've been winning and I get experience. I've been losing and it doesn't seem to go up and that's fine. But what determines how much experience you get? Apparently it's just three for a win and zero for a loss. Now that's pretty damn brutal. But to be fair, don't lose. Hold on, while I'm here, something's been bothering me. There we go. Losing is for losers, Hands 2022. Thank you, Black Crown. This is a modified version of my much more successful, slightly higher power score version of this build. I thought I needed a gas gen, so I started crafting it. However, it would appear I am wrong. Uh, by my math, uh, I think I don't need a gas gen. And, okay, so we've got Kate the Moose. He's from my guild. She, she, it, whatever is from my guild. And uh, I think they have porcupines, which is fine, but... Gotta be really good with those. Gotta be really good. I hope they manage to connect successfully. Uh, it looks like they're using Sky Cancer. We've got someone using Shotgun Cancer. Like, that is a sexy looking Shotgun Cancer build though. It looks sexy. I don't know how well it's gonna do, but it looks sexy. Never heard them speak, Haynes, so I'll assume a she for now, sure. So, Kate will be uh, bringing some form of weapons to the table, fingers crossed. Uh, it's true, relics don't matter as much. They matter, but they don't matter as much. Uh, Dave is launching drones. I could take care of those, or I could take care of Dave. So, I'm gonna die of Dave. What a Chad. He's got the Forbidden Jutsu, chat! Forbidden Jutsu! He Forbidden Jutsu'd me! 11 seconds of invulnerability, you Forbidden Jutsu son of a bitch. That's only 11 seconds though, so you need to have actual armor on your build. We're gonna go towards Kate. Unfortunate for me, I managed to ram the wall. Fortunately for me, I've changed my build up so there's nothing behind me that matters. So I can just drive away from this. And then go back into combat. This build is not the same as my old build. My old build would have been significantly more harmed.
Damn, I love Caucus. He's gonna end up killing me. Kate has all the time in the world to do anything, but I don't think that's gonna work. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose here. Oh, Kate got a leg. I am literally the Terminator at this point. You remember, if anyone's seen Terminator 1, I am Terminator 1, Terminator, dragging myself toward this man. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'm dragging myself toward it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't know why he would get close enough to get shot. Okay, we barely won. So, things to note. I need to avoid the melee player. That's it. We're going to try and avoid the melee player. You're damn right, Black Crown 96. These are fused as fuck. They are, I fused them in the last fusion event, and I have no, uh, what's a good way of putting this? Uh, good way of saying this, I spent literally top dollar, literally top dollar, fusing these guns. As in, like, you know how when you want to pay less money, you do it early, right? You're like, oh man, I'm going to end up fusing these, so I should do it early while the cost is cheap. No, I waited until literally the last minute. Literally the last minute. So imagine the last minute, literally 60 seconds remaining. That's what, how long I waited. And that's when I decided to, uh, re uh, to fuse them. It cost me 700 something coins. This isn't good. We've got the Forbidden Jutsu and we've got a Melee with them. This is very dangerous. We're gonna go for Snozberry. Ugh. Now, always pay attention to where you're driving. I'm just gonna stand here and shoot him. This guy wants free so bad, he's like, let me go! Never get hit by a cap can, chat. Never get hit by a cap can. Cap cans mean instantaneous defeat. There's nothing you can do about them. Once you're hit by a cap can, you lose the video game. Under no circumstances do you ever get hit by a cap can, you know that. How this guy is cycling his shield so often, I'll never know. I don't do enough damage to break it, or at least I shouldn't. This guy's using shotguns, so I can't get close, but I'm using caucuses, so he can't fight me. I unfortunately crashed into the wall, so it's going to be a quick DPS check. We'll see if I'm high enough to shoot him in the face. Nope. Fucked up. That is what happens when you fuck up. I should have easily won that fight, but I hit the wall. And this build is different than my other build. My other build is a lot lighter, surprisingly enough. And that actually gives me the acceleration to get out of situations like that. I did not have that acceleration, and therefore I lost that very easy 1v1. That should have been a win. He was on fire. He was hurt. I should have won that. I didn't. My, my bad, chat. So when you're playing a caucus build, so you'll note, like... This feels so slow to accelerate. You'll note when you're playing a caucus build, you want to make sure that you are... Uh, I'm going to follow these porcupines in. Yeah, you don't want to crash. You want to keep moving at all times. Like this. See? There we go. Lamau. So now we're just going to sit here and shoot him for free. Adorable. The guy with shotguns is the one who actually is a threat, so we're going to try and kill him. Got him. And now we just drive. Nice and casual. If he tries to leave, we just turn around and drive directly at him. Dave DPN is giving Kate a problem. See, they're eventually, they're intentionally avoiding Kate because Kate has porcupines. So that's actually good. It's good because Kate doesn't actually have to hit. Kate just needs to continuously drive the car. And we're doing just fine. We're doing great. I have teammates. So Kate is just scary. They're scared of Kate because of porcupines. Uh... You're a wizard is throwing hard. This guy is just diving him. He doesn't give a shit. He's like, I'm in, boom, and explodes. And I just got to do all the work from there. So as long as they don't rush Kate down, I should be fine. Uh, 
they can't rush me down because I'm too fast if I don't suck. If I suck, it's my fault I lose. Like, it's 100% my fault for losing this. That match that we lost, we, we should be done right now. We should be back at the screen because sh we never should have lost that guy. Oh no, they're doing the thing I w said they shouldn't, that I was worried about. So Kate, oh. Dave wants me dead, which is adorable. I'm just gonna keep shooting you. And I have bumpers, so what was your plan here? All right. So now I have to go diving back in to help my team. Okay. Unfortunately, that hit the ground. Dave DPN does have the Forbidden Jutsu. Not sure why he's not using it. A Forbidden Jutsu would be remarkably unfortunate for me. GG's. Didn't get the full 11. Didn't get the full 11. But we did all right. I do not know what this player is doing. Deadly serious chat. Cutouts. Wizard... Just doing what he wants to do. Just doing what he wants to do. Kate, bringing in Clutch. Thank you, Kate, very much. So theoretically, that should have got me, what, three experience in the arena? Yeah. Believe it or not, Haynes, I have a screenshot of the full 11. <laughs> I do have a screenshot for killing all 11 players already in this, uh, uh, this arena. So this build just happened to be very strong against my opponents. Uh, my opponents were dogs. They thought that they could dog people down, and they can. Dogs are effective, but the thing is, this build is very good at running. It is a runner build. It's actually very fast. I think it can reach 120. It might not be able to now that I have... Uh... Ooh, it's Schnars Affen! Schnars! <laughs> oh, snap. Schnars is here. Uh, we've got someone using a kaiju, which is bad. We've got someone else using some other things, which is bad. Alrighty, here we go. We got auto cannons. Oh no. All right. So hopefully, we're gonna be able to come up, come out on top on this. I'm saying hopefully because I don't know. Schnarge is a cool guy, and he has got relics. Heavily Gamer, thank you for the raid, my man. Let me give you a shout out and have a tick. Did my drone just explode in midair? Schnars is diving with Fuyum's build. Schnars has Fuyum's build. Fuyum's build is here. Fuyum, no, you son of a bitch. Why would you give Schnars your build? Never trust that MFR. This is bad. Schnars guy has the Forbidden Jutsu. But this is the reason why I love this car. I understand that I'm under attack. I understand that things are getting dicey. Doesn't matter. We're going for a ride. The sheer fact that I'm slightly faster than them is all that matters. <laughs> Just being slightly faster is all it takes, boys. Sometimes all you need is speed. They use the Forbidden Jutsu. Unfortunately, oh no, my weapon's locked on the wrong guy. Son of a bitch. 
hold on. Let me give you a shout out. Shouting out Heavily Gamer, in case you guys are interested, he makes the most beautiful shotgun builds in Crossout possible. I'm going to swap it up. And there's a reason why I'm going to swap it up. This is going to be funny. That is Fuyum's build. Fuyum says that Fuyum's build is the best build since Fuyum Fuyum, and he never blah 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 words. So, I'm going to try and kill Fuyum's build, utilizing my own personal build. This is a straight melee. 10 second cloak. Schnars, you son of a bitch. What up? Alrighty. Let's continue our day job. We're gonna go try and save our teammate. Failed already. Come here, you, you gamer, you. Come here. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. And that is how melee works. He's gonna beat me in a head on because I don't have any durability left. But that was pretty good stuff. My team is completely dropping the dog. They're just shitting the bed. They're just like duking all over the place. They're like duke, 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 duke. But as you can see, not doing that bad. Schnars is being carried by a full on team that matters. Oh God. Oh, oh God. All right. So the problem that I have is this. We're choosing builds and by we, I mean my team, are choosing builds that are just, and this is, uh, this is a fact, bad. So <laughs> you got bad choices. Bad, bad choices being made. That's a terrible choice. A terrible, terrible choice. Schnars is coming to the hard left. Hilarious. We begin the chase again. Let's see if I can actually outspeed this. I don't think I can. Amazing. I think I lost too many wheels. Good job, Schnarzaffen. Ant now gets to die a horrible, horrible death because he is bad at the video game. GG's. Unfortunate chat. Unfortunate. Cannot win them all, especially when your team is bad. It, winning a 3v1 is actually very difficult, uh, especially if the opponent, opponent, opposing team is uh, doing remotely anything. If the opposing team is doing well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just telling them that my team was stroke victims. There's nothing that could be done, yo. I can't beat literally everyone every round. I mean, I can, but Jesus. You shouldn't have to. Oh, also, in case you're wondering, I've got ye old Fatter Jack. Fatter Jack is also a cannon build. Really good in this uh, in this type of game mode. Okay, so we've got a problem because of two of our dudes it, in our uh, on my team, I have only one build. Sumting and Pahenry. Wait, Pahenry? Henry? Pahenry's supposed to be a good player. I remember him. He's got a... Uh, he uses executioners usually. Anyway, we are up against what appears to be two people using fuck you pines, one guy using bitch pyres. Uh, believe it or not, our builds are actually good against theirs. They are in a bit of trouble. Toxin's dead. This guy is also similarly dead. GG. So, interesting story. Uh, somehow, some way, they literally walked into a hard counter. <laughs> they were using, shit you not, six porcupines on their on their side of their field. They have a total value of what? Two million dollars on their side of the field? And they lost. And the reason why they lost is because they walked into the guy with drones. The guy with the drones is like, but what if my drones just shoot you from above? And they're like, nani? Oh my wabu. 
Chimderu. And they just got blowed up. Did not expect that to happen. The Henry brought their hard counter. Some Ting is running around again with cannons. Uh, I expect Fuck You Pines to come flying past me. There they are. God damn it. I really hate the decloak drone. I really do. Ooh, never lose control of your build, chat. And this guy is going to fuck me to death with fuck you pines. Yeah, you got me, man. You're hitting me with those fuck you pines. Yeah, you're doing it. You're doing it. You got me. And I got you. Hopefully some ting can kill toxin. That's really it. If he can do it, then we win. But I don't know. Toxin is just waiting to shotgun him in the face. No! So some ting- Oh, he did it! He flipped him! Don't shoot him! No! Okay, good enough. He, he reduced him to a cabin. Some ting cabin. Holy crap! That's what I'm talking about. Cannons. Guns, chat. Guns. Woo! Something clapped that dude right side up. Never expected that shit to happen. He's all like, oh, I'm looking down, li like, on the bright side of life. He shot him with enough force in the front of his build to make his build fly up onto the back of his build. That's amazing. That's a lot of firepower, or at least a good hit at an appropriate angle. So what we're gonna do is avoid Fuck You Piner and find him and kill him. Bars is his new name, and we're just gonna shoot him from up here. He can't hurt us. Like, why would I go down there? Why would I even let you have the chance of hitting me? Oh god, I'm an idiot. No. So we're just gonna shoot Bars as soon as we can. Hey, Bars. How's it going, Bars? I'm just gonna shoot you. How's it going, Bars? Gotcha. Boop. Like Mario. This guy's using retchers. That's fine. And this guy is... I'm just driving away from him. I don't care about your shotguns, Toxin. I am going to fight you from across the map where you don't have any weapons. Hello, Toxin. Hey, come get it. Toxin's build, unfortunately, is... not going to work here. His build isn't bad in general. To be honest, his build isn't bad, but in this very particular instance, he was ex extremely countered, hard countered, mega hard countered. So mega, so hard, so countered. So things that I would change about this build, I, I would definitely round it out. I got to fix that. Power score is a problem, though. Uh, we are going to go cannons. This is a very interesting map. This particular map is unbelievable, unbelievably bad for cars. Like, if you're driving through that water, it's terrible. Like, there is zero to negative traction. Like, I have, you can't. You just can't. It's just bad. So I'm going with legs, or I'm going with anything else. I also turned off reverse mode. No. Dead Man Yang Wang is not as good as Cockpit Yang Wang. If you're gonna go Yang Wang, go Cockpit. Disc, disc. Everybody who thinks Dead Man Yang Wang is adorable, because it is a thing, you can do it. But you're doing yourself a disservice. If you're gonna go with a purple cabin into the Yanger, just bring the best. Is this guy not showing up for some reason? Does my radar that shows them on the map not help him? Is he not, is he not coming? A Henry, bro. Are you stroking out, man? Uh, 
God fucking damn it. Shoot him! I gotta save this dude. Eh. There. Cannons was the right choice, because I took a boatload of damage. We don't have a choice but to deal with droning and dronerson. Uh, this guy should absolutely be using the fucking lasers. I don't know why he's using the garbage. He's like, these garbage weapons are the ones that I want to use. Okay, so just so we're clear though, Haynes, it does function. Before we get before I before I shit on your idea too badly, Dead Man Yang Wang is a combo. Uh, rapid reloads is a thing. Uh, it's pretty good to get rapid reloads. It's good. But remember, it's not better than just instantly one hitting. As evidenced by my ability to snipe like a god from up here. Damn, I am so fucking good. I'm so good. I'm so good I don't even need to hit him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight them from the water because they can't turn. See that? That guy didn't want to do that. He wanted to turn like it was a, you know, regular video game play. He can't. This guy's just suiciding. Whatever. Go ahead and do Just die. Hurry up and die. Die. You're going to ruin my shot. Die. Thank you. Oh, they got my gun, so now it's time to stand around. Woo! I'm actually saving my team. Can you believe this? Believe it or not, and this is real, me doing this is saving Pahenry. Not even joking, the only guy with a gun was this guy, and by doing that, it saved Pahenry's freaking drones. But, Pahenry decided not to do anything. He's like, use my drones on the guy attacking the spider? No! And then he didn't. And then he didn't, chat. And now he's losing all of his drones to the guy that he should have been killing earlier. But, the suicide might do it! Amazing. This guy is saying I'm a noob. Outstanding. I love it. You can't always have the respect of your peers, chat. In this case, I'm not going to. So this guy, who is the worst player on our team, is giving me crap. Look at that. They went spider to counter my spider. That sucks, because I would have countered that spider. We're going to get rid of that gun. We're now going to burn down this spider. Spiders have an advantage, and that advantage is they have a lot of hit points, blah, 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 blah. But here's the kicker. Spiders, once they lose their shield, are just trash. They're just hit points, Chad. Amazing. My team is sitting way in the back, so time to join them. They seem to want to do all the work, or take none of the, do none of the work, so here we go. Like this guy, he's like, I don't want to be, oh, well, I lost all my guns. So they're going to get a win. There's like nothing that can be done about this. Could not turn in time. GG. Should have stayed as either melee or cannons. Them swapping to a better standoff build than this trash was the problem.
basically spider versus him the guy wins like the spider is gonna win because the gun the fire fire might be the same but the spider has more uh, uh durability and more mobility For some reason, I can't seem to land any shots, though. Uh, I do not know why. Like, how far away are these guys? I don't have any of the ranges in my mind, so... Meanwhile, this guy's pooping out cap cans. And ye old fag bokus. Love it. We're gonna move backwards. Not enough for the kill. Unfortunate. And there is nothing I can do about all of these men other than putting this guy in the fire. Good try. How does the cockpit damage scale with the boosters? Very, very, very well. So imagine the worst possible scaling that you could imagine. It's those. That's the scaling. So basically, if you increase your damage by the Jiboku's amount, then add 50% of that. The damage is insanely high. So it basically converts the each shot from the Jiboku, not Jiboku, each shot from the cockpit goes up from, uh, not cockpit, Yong Wang. Each Yong Wang shot goes up from 50 damage from a grip per grenade to 150 damage per grenade. It's insane. Just be aware of that. It's the reason why Yang Wang builds can clap you in half. Oh no, a terrible shot! Amazing. And now it's time to get droned to death, chat. Drones! Cap canned into drones. Never get hit by a cap can, chat. Woo! Uh, yes, Haynes, the cockpit is overpowered. It is an S tier cabin for a reason. It is an S tier cabin because it is just the most powerful freaking uh, light cabin. It does the most damage. All the damage. We got reverse swept, chat. A reverse sweep. Well done, enemy team. So yeah, Haynes, there's a reason why the cockpit goes for a billion dollars. See this? Even though it's coming down a little bit, this thing goes for like three grand. And the reason why is because its perk is insanely strong. It is just a 50% on top of whatever boosts you currently have just shit onto the uh, shit onto your chest. And the reason why this is overpowered and the reason why this combines well 
with the Yang Wang is because the Yang Wang says you get 15% more damage. Uh, you get 15% more damage for each unit of energy spent on hardware. Hardwares are modules, anything that is not a weapon. So in order for you to get the boost out of the cockpit, you need to spend points on boosters. This means that every point that you spend on boosters gives you damage bonus twice. It gives you a damage bonus from the Yang Wang perk. It gives you a damage bonus from the cockpit. That is the reason why it is a, such an insane combo. If you choose to do Yang Wang without cockpit, you don't need to bother bringing boosters, but your build is going to suffer. You're going to be doing much less damage, uh, but you can bring other weapons or you, you, you know, It's just not that good. It's just not as good as double stack damage for the exact... Like, imagine one energy going into your 50% damage boost and one energy going into your 13% damage boost. It's crazy. This guy is in trouble because he's in the water. Now I'm in trouble because I'm in the water. Now this guy's in trouble because he's a hover. Wow, that guy's a lot of, got a lot of hit points. So yeah, Cockpit also works for uh, Leviathans, which is one of the primary reasons why it's a Leviathan. So you're so glad I'm streaming because you're writing uh, writing a long thing about how much you hate Weezer's recent albums and how awesome, awful they are now. All right. Sounds good, Friendship Bunny. I'm glad I'm streaming too so that you can write that essay upon Weezer. We've got Robin, the bot, which we'll try to avoid, even though it's diving us for some reason. So, uh, for those of us who's gonna are gonna play this arena mode, be careful of the water. See this guy? He can't turn. You can't turn in the water. So don't don't even try. When you're doing water, you're driving straight. If you try to even turn in the water, you lose acceleration. Like you can't even you can't even turn like drive left or right. Huh. Why do you think that is, friendship bunny? Why do you think that you don't care for anything Weezer's done? Marb is a hover player, so he doesn't care. Please note everyone, Marb is a hover player, doesn't care about the water, understands this is a hover dominant map, by the way. Like, look at that, look at how long it takes to accelerate, it's terrible. Magic, thank you for the tier one subscription. Doing it four months in a row, my number one four monther. I appreciate all of the time and the effort you put into uh, liking and subscribing the things that I do. Interesting. Those are interesting factoids, Friendship Bunny. Looks like I'm two wins away from level six in the arena.
That's true. You gotta keep the lights on. You know how we do. Driving nice and slow in this damn water. There we go. So if you're ever playing this at game mode, make sure that and you are ah oh, Jesus guy. See, I'm in trouble because I am trying to turn on this water, and that was a mistake. We're just going to kill this guy. This guy's got his cabin on the rear, which is what we like to see when we're playing caucuses. We drive straight across this. Not going to try and turn. We're not going to even go over there. We're just going to stay way over here. There we go. This guy was using triggers combined. Look at look at that slide. Look at this. I can't drive. You can't drive if you end up in water. So never do that. Excellent. One person Alta forward on their team. We're going to go pure melee. That's, uh, that's pretty dumb, actually. Pretty dumb to do that, but we're going to do it. But yeah, so also they updated tracks, so tracks do not have problems in water. So this map is good for both hovers and tracks, I think, and I could be wrong. Legs are also similarly uh, drivable. Not a good connection, but it doesn't seem to matter. Oh no, it does matter. It matters. Oh God, this team. Oh no, Connor's targeting me. Thanks, Connor. Connor bot. Keeping me down. Coming after me. Yep, thanks, Connor bot. Amazing. Their bot managed to intercede. Not well enough. We're going to stick with the Touche. It seems to work very well against their combination of one car. Colonel Sniper is still alive. We're going to try and finish him off quickly. We need to get around uh, Connorbot. Connorbot's very dangerous with dual elephant. My team is refusing to go in as they're going to because they're scurred. You know how they do. There's Connorbot. We're going to avoid live res. We can just kill him. Amazing. Team decided to not assist. Great, they managed to get stripped. And the, I think he's realized his only opponent are drones now, so he's in, we're in trouble. Metatron has the only guns left and has to actually drone this guy to death. He's on fire, though. So it's probably going to be a clean sweep because he's behind him. A GG. So, Yang Wang versus Fortunes is are an interesting thing. It depends on how much money you have. Honestly, and this is sad, but Yang Wang is better. The Yang Wang is fourteen hundred. A Fortune is thirty nine hundred, and you need three. So, full build is twelve hundred gold. Versus full build on a Yang Wang is going to be fourteen fifty. 
uh, we'll just say four, uh, it's 14, three, 37, so 3,800. 3,800 plus 1,000, 4,800. So there's your answer. If you're trying to deal the damage, you can do better with a Yang Wang than you can a uh, her, uh, Fortunes. Though, and I will say this, the reason why the only reason why you would consider Fortunes over a Yang Wang is you don't have to put them on a cockpit. Uh, also, Fortunes have more hit points. You will also have three of them instead of one of them. There are, there are certain advantages, but if we're being completely honest, and I like being completely honest, the damage is much worse. Somehow three of those does much, just it just it just does much worse. It's bad. Like, it's not bad, it's just much worse. Like, the sad thing is, oh, there's other reasons, hold on. Uh, aiming is actually easier and harder at the same time for the uh, fortunes. Fortunes are interesting. Because they are um, limited turn angle weapons. I think that was Iron Hilt or Rusted Hilt Friendship Bunny. I believe Haynes is the World of Tanks player who kicks ass and takes names. I just realized I don't have a cloak. Huh. Metatron recognizes he's fucked. We are, we have a problem. T uh, Tata Pinochet is using uh, sparks. Sparks are not necessarily a good weapon, but they do work here because uh, one of our players is pure drones and that means he doesn't have a gun effectively. So our goal is to kill Tata Pinochet no matter what, because without him dead, we have no chance whatsoever. Tata's attempting to block his cabin with his weapon. Fuck you, Pines. Outstanding. This person has all the money in the world. He's throwing that money right in my face. We're dead. We lose. So, now that we know that we have a Fuckupine player, a Minigun player, and Tata Pinochet, we have to go melee. Uh, oh, he's going off of drones. Maybe we don't. I'm glad that he recognized uh, that his drones are completely useless against Double Spark. That's so adorable, Friendship Bunny. Just screaming that let it go. Get that let it go out of her lungs. Oh, these guys are AFK. I started to drive thinking that I could play the video game. I was wrong. They are all just AFK doing... What the hell? This guy's shotgun build is literal ass. That is not good. That is a terrible build, chat. We've got Blue Slap, who should be the target, because he is stripping everyone's guns. Come on, come on, there we go. For some reason, this guy wants to make the spider the target, but his spider is stripped, so... Tata's last one up. We're just gonna chase Pinochet down. Never lose control of your build, chat. No! Oh god, that guy's changing off miniguns. He's like, I wanna go back to these terrible guns. Ooh, equalizers are very bad guns, chat.
If you have Arbiter is good. Oh, wow. This he, He's using a meta... Okay, so, Haynes, if you look at me, uh, Metatron, he's using that one of those over-under builds where he's got all the shotguns underneath. Oh, fuck you, Pines. Blue Slap is the target. For me, anyway. Metatron is in trouble. That's never good. Don't know what he's doing over here. I'm never go It's amazing. Fuck you, Pines, tearing me apart. We're done here. So... This guy's changing off of shotguns. Very bad idea. I'm going to change to cannons. People are really creative in this game, yeah. Going to cannons is a mistake. Not a mistake. It's dangerous. So... My problem right now is, on this particular arena, I can't land shots. I don't know what it is, but I cannot judge distance at all. And I'm trying, but I can't. Like, I am... I am just slinging shots way over their head every single time. So, like, there, there's an example of this. Missing again. Labot QQ should have been hurt. Wasn't. Missing again. Can't I can't hit anything. I don't know what it is about this particular map, but I can't land shots, and that's a problem. I'm gonna try and block my guns because he's trying to take them, so I'm literally like alternating, so he's doing damage to all my weapons. I think I hit his generator from the top of his build, and that's good enough for me. He's suiciding on me. What a Chad. Woo! Hitting his generator from the top of his build. Love it. You might be wondering, how did I do that? Executioners. The answer, chat, is executioners. Oh snap, friendship bunny put on the glasses. Vidya games are what sucks. Ooh snap. That's a sick burn on literally everyone on Twitch. Literally everyone on Twitch has just got burned, myself included, Haynes included, Magic TV included, literally everyone included. Good sick burn on literally everyone. Are we serious? Like, I cannot land a shot. Six, the big six, chat. There we go! Jesus, why is that so hard? Adorable. This guy- Metatron, help! Help! These guys are literally burning me down! Literally burning me down! Oh, well, I'm dead. Unfortunate, chat. Unfortunate. They let them kill me. Did as much damage as I could. Hopefully he's able to launch his drones and do something, but Tata uh, Pinochet is just going to hard counter. He's actually aiming at the right target? Holy crap. This guy is trying to strip that freaking... Um, strip the spark. But it's we lose. GG. Spark instantly destroys those stupid bitch drones. We lose. Executioners are cheap. But then again, like, I got completely butt-fucked right there at chat. No joke. 
They just ran in and are like, let's kill the spider first. And my team's like, oh, thank goodness we're not under attack. <laughs> and then they uh, just let them do it. So, yeah, Metatron has no weapons. It looks like he's got weapons. He has none. Uh, because, unfortunately, for what people do not understand is that one spark is a mega super ass hard counter to anything he has. He has nothing. GG. That is what happens when you get hard countered. I do not know why he would ever have gone back to his spark or his drone build. That was a mistake. Uh, so, just so you know, chat, if you're playing in a competitive setting like this, even though it's like not mega, mega competitive, it's a minor competitive setting, and you have choices between builds, and you come across your hard counter. So let's say you're using, it doesn't matter, I don't know, drones. And someone's bringing two fucking sparks. You know. In your brain now, your brain knows they have two sparks in their pocket. That hard counters one of your builds, drones. You cannot bring drones anymore. You don't ever do it. You stop bringing drones. Because on the off chance they use two sparks, you don't even need to be alive. Like, you're dead. You literally are bringing nothing to the table. You are absolutely butt fucking dead. So if they have sparks and you have drones, don't ever use your drone car ever again. It's gone. They won that round. You have to pick one of your other cars. It can be anything. If they have any anything that's hard countered, just don't bring just don't bring it. You will regret it. You're gonna get you're gonna get slapped. Unfortunately, I am going to die here because I'm trying to turn while in the water, and turning in the water is not going to work. Hey team, are you going to help? Blue Slap should have been my target first. He has no armor whatsoever. We're going to let it rock. I'd like to thank Digital Jesus. I can crash cards in real life, so I don't get the point of this. Friendship Bunny. Oh! Splatter Cake has left. That is unfortunate. Splatter Cake, no! They all left. Everyone alt at Ford. Triple bots, chat. Okay, how, what, what's happening over here? How did that happen? Hilarious. Well played, Friendship Bunny. Your humor is top-notch. But yeah, Haynes, there are a lot of great builds that you can get. If you're looking to drop ye old cannons. Though, to be fair, Haynes, uh, are you getting the Battle Pass? Or have you already received the Battle Pass? Or what's up with the Battle Pass, Haynes? I need, I need this information. I need the infos. Immediately. No, Warzor, you... Get out of here. There we go. Haynes? Bro? Boom. Synthesis workpiece. Which is a Wow, that's a cheap synthesis! What? This is the cheapest synthesis I've ever seen, chat! 
You can straight up poop out a synthesis for a singular vector. That's a work piece. I should probably craft auroras, Jesus. The Guardian isn't even that cheap. I got the battle pass despite, despite it seemed like they're less value compared to the last update. Alright, so I've already gone over the battle pass in a video I made, but just so we're clear, this is not less value than the previous. You get a total of three therms used. Oh, great. Haynes. Haynes. When you get this, you will no longer be using your spider cabin. Or you can use your spider cabin, but you can use this instead. If you get big rams and this, you're going to love it. If you stick with your tsunamis, big rams plus hadron, or hadron, however it's pronounced, the super collider. This is a very, 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 very good build. Especially with things that have decent reload. Just get yourself a king or something to reduce your reload down, and you can rock the house with some mega reload cannons. Anyway, talking about ye old battle passy for, uh, for Cryocree. So, the things that matter. Uh, this is actually a pretty good workpiece, by the way. Like, everything that, anytime you get a workpiece, it means a cheaper version of the, of the crafty thing. Yeah, it's not just that, but it turns out that that's the best one. So, uh, Haynes. So, Therm, good. More Therms, eh, I mean, getting three Therms is pretty good. You can get a full build on Therms, and they're fused. Fused Therms. So, if you're running a Leviathan and you need that mid-range firepower and are tired, sick and tired of bringing machine guns, these will work. A little dab will do you. This is a little dab. If you are if you are bringing tap fire machine guns on your Leviathan, because you're uh, like a lower tier Leviathan or whatever, replace them with Therms. You're good. Uh, let's see here. Next up, you can craft Therms. Ignore that. CK, ignore that. Trombone. Hold on a minute. I know what you're thinking. Anybody who's seen my video knows these are ass. I can tell you right now they're ass. These are ass. A. S. Booty. S. Booty. They're ass. But even though they're ass, they're PVE good. These are not bad for PvE. Like, bring a trombone into your raids, and all of a sudden you clear your raids almost twice as fast. That's good. So, these are great for raiding. Uh, and that's it. That's all they're good for. Uh, they're not useful for Leviathan CW, but yeah, sure. Like, honestly, in Leviathan CW, they're already going to be hit by fire. You've, you've got your porcupine guy, and he's already lighting them up. Trombones aren't going to be any good. Um, but in Leviathan map battles, so like if you're going to do the, um, if you're going against this game mode, uh, this, if you're doing invasion to fight Leviathans, great. In invasion, that's great. So like in player versus enemy, PvE, there's some good stuff. Uh, hold on. Damn it, stop clicking hands. Uh, from there, trombones are ass. You get a CK. You get some paint. Uh, cheap triggers. That's good. Flywheels. Uh, honestly, not that good. Everybody who needs a flywheel already has a flywheel. Whatever. All I can do is shrug because whatever. You're just... We, we are, everyone has them. You need them. You just fucking need them because they, they made them in the game. So you have to have it. That, whatever. Um, Threshers. Workpiece. Shrug. So everything here is a shrug except for the trigger workpiece. Trigger workpiece, not a shrug because of the destructor. I'll get more on that in a moment. I'll get to the destructor in a moment. I swear to you. This is a decent CK, but I think the basic looks better. Vultures, you get two of them, which is more than more or less all you're gonna need of these ever. And uh, you just bring more Sky Drone Cancer to the game. It's just more cap cans, except these cap cans are um, invisible and in the air and annoying. So you get a couple of these, right? Uh, you get, honestly, a similar work piece of similar is kind of ass. Uh, you can craft more Sky Drones, and I would highly kind of, if you have the money and the time, yeah, I mean, you can craft them. Uh, CK. This is an awesome CK for the Spark. And then, of course, the Crime de la Crime, the Apex, you get a 46, the Hadron, which is, of course, going to be an insanely good cabin, at least A tier minimum, S tier most likely cabin. Honestly, this is probably going to replace, in my opinion, the Step Spider Cabin is my favorite cabin. Not because of what it does, because of just how it looks. It looks so sexy. I already have four assemblers. Nobody in their right mind would craft those except for hover tumors. 
It's true, Splat of Cake. You abandoned. I don't know why you did that. You could have won. You could have beat us. Oh, yeah, and Griffin workpieces. Griffins are S-tier cabins. If you don't have a Griffin yet, you get a workpiece for this. This will be a cheaper Griffin for you at bare minimum. This is great. Great. A storage expansion. Funny story for those of us who are running running hot. That's actually really good. Um, what I think there's also a, yeah, also blueprint storage. So you get a storage expansion. You get some blueprints out of it. You get money at 55 plus. You get uh, garbage for your garbage, uh, you know. This is trash, but it is something you get to throw into your uh, garage. But yeah, get four work pieces for the Hadron, but no one's gonna craft it more than four times. I mean, who's got that kind of money? Hadron's gonna be a good good cabin to get. So is the battle pass worth it? Yeah. Also, you get a whole bunch of coins. 100 coins, 200 coins, 400 coins, uh, 700 coins. Uh, a thousand coins, a thousand one hundred coins, plus twenty each level after that. The so one thousand one hundred coins plus twenty each level after that. It is not a bad battle pass. Uh, you also get some random stuff, pictures, CKs, yada 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 yada. Uh, do I think the battle pass is worth it? I mean, the coupons are. Eh. This is a wasted level. Well, I mean, I could put the word gladiator in my car. That's kind of cool. But other than that. Yeah. Oh, has the Master not sold ever? Because this is not going to sell. Master's ass. This should never have sold. It's never going to sell. It's not selling. Oh my god, that po these poor sons of bitches. 73 have been crafted. Holy shit. So it's not that the Master doesn't do enough. It's that the Master doesn't do anything. That's the problem. And I'll, I'll explain that. Uh, right now. The reason why the Master Cabin doesn't do anything is because of the fact that Crossout itself is the problem. Cryocree's laughing his ass off. He's like, 73? Yeah. That, that happened, chat. Yeah, we weren't... It's true, Splat of Cake. We were... Uh, I was taking damage. Uh, we were taking damage, but... I was um, hiding behind your firing arc to ensure that I wasn't going to die. All right, so I'll explain why the master doesn't do anything. This is the reason why. Cross out. I know that sounds like a bitch answer, but I'll explain. That is the answer. The answer is literally cross out. And let me just remove everything. Yes. So let's put the master on display. So the master's perk has the ability... Uh, I'm going to make this as brief as possible, as I do have other engagements, but this is the, this, this is the reason why the Master's shit. The perk. And the, the geometry. The Master Cabin could have been a Mega S tier or a dud. And it came out to be a dud. And the reason why it's a dud is literally geometry. Geometry is very important cross in Crossout. People don't understand this sometimes, but when they figure it out, they're like, oh, I get it. Geometry is important. Why is the Master cabin, Cabin's geometry freaking garbage? It's because right now it has no perk. Right now, ignore what's written. It has no perk. This is all it is. It's just a it's just a light cabin, 95 kilometers an hour, 5,000 tonnage, mass limit uh, 11,000, and adds 12 energy with no perk. Watch this. Now it has a perk. Well, what is that? What's its perk? This overheats to heal this for half of its hit points. Oh, that's its perk. But the thing is, only when things are attached to nodes like here, 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 or here. And this is where geometry absolutely bullets this cabin. Let's pretend this cabin were exactly the same. Let's pretend the perk is exactly the same, right? But the cabin looks like, uh, oh, I don't know. This. And the nodes are like right here and right here, but on top. Or we'll go to another one, my pers everyone's personal favorite. The cockpit. And the nodes are like right here and right here, but on the top. That would be an S tier cabin. That ta cabin would be beyond S tier. Same perk. No difference, no different perk with the, the master cabin has, but the location of the hard points are on the top and on the back, like right there, right there, 
and right there. That is an S tier or S plus tier or better best cabin in the entire game. Why? So why does this change? The perk goes from being complete ass nonsense worthless to being literally impossibly the best cabin in the game. Why? Why is there such a difference? And the geometry comes down to this. When you have the master cabin, you can't put guns on this shit. That's it. That's all it is. The guns that you would mount onto the master cabin would, would you want to put there would be shotguns, to be honest. You'd want something that can take damage and can deal damage. And an example would be like a tackler. Well, okay, the tackler is a pretty good gun. Why is this not S tier like this? The tackler is forward facing only, isn't that good. And it means that you can't, it, like forward facing weapons aren't that good in general. You want turreted weapons. The best weapons in the game are usually turreted weapons. So if you were to look at something like the Thunderbolt, well, you can mount the Thunderbolt on it, right? You'd say, sure. Like ears, F and ears, which means that you basically only have the ability to shoot what's directly in front of or directly behind you. And that is terrible. This is terrible. In addition to that, they can't, there's no crossover because the cabin is so high, right? You've got this dead zone up here where your guns can't support each other. So if the master cabin had, the, had these mounts on the top, it would be something entirely than if the, if the mounts are on the side. Because the mounts are on their side, this limits this cabin greatly. The second problem, and this is another issue, is crossout. Well, what the hell does that mean? Crossout has an interesting thing where the master cabin's perk says it will heal apart for 50% of that part's maximum hit points, basically. It restores 10% durability per second for five seconds. 50% effectively of something's durability all right, that sounds pretty good. Here's the problem. Other than this, what do we have here? The train plow. Wow, 50%. We, we can heal 50% of the thing's durability, man. That's a lot, right? What's 50% of 416? Just so you know, it's 208. How long does it take to do 208 damage, chat? Do you know? Like, let's find out. Let's find out how long 208 damage takes to deal. So we're going to we're going to do 208 damage and stop firing at 208. We're done. We did it. That's 208 damage. You just saw it dealt just now. 208 damage was dealt in your face. Watch this. 208 damage. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Done. Oh, 201. My bad. 201. That's how much 208 hit points is. That's one half of a train plow. So train plows, for all they are worth, and they are not bad, don't take very long to remove. You can shoot these things off quickly. Like, everyone likes to think train plows are amazing. Sure, they're good. But in reality, they don't take that long to shoot off. That didn't take very long at all. So. If 208 damage isn't very much, then what good is this perk? Like, what good is the perk? So you might think, okay, well, you can't choose these things. So literally, the perk is useless on everything in this field. With the exception of the freight train plow, the perk does nothing for anything here. Repairing any of these things is a waste of your goddamn time. Nothing. Even the most powerful part, the APC roof part, is 120. That is one half, one, I'm sorry, one quarter of the damage I just showed you being dealt. It's one shot, chat. Repairing this doesn't do anything. So, Haynes is asking, what about tsunamis? Perfect, just perfect. Now we're getting into it. The only thing, the only thing that perk is good for repairing is weapons. Weapons are the only thing in this game, the only thing in this game, that have enough durability to actually receive, to receive, uh, to get any benefit from that perk. But, and this is where we get another but, the weapons that receive the greatest benefit can't either A, aren't good on a light cabin because the light cabin only has a dur only has 11,000 mass, right? 11,000 maximum mass. So let's go on to ye old marketplace and check up cannons. 
cannons, which are the weapons that you would want to put on there. Great, 950 durability? Shit, man. What's half of 950? That's nearly 500. That's 425 durability, give or take. It's, or 475 durability. That's insane. That's really good healing. Problem, what's a tsunami weigh? 2,200 mass each, chat. So what about mastodons, which would receive 1,500, 750 plus healing? That's a lot of healing. That would maximize the perk, but it weighs 2,855 kilograms. Two of these is one half of the maximum mass of the cabin that could repair it. That's too much. Cyclones. Seven, we, like, we've, all, we've already gone like down so far. Kaiju, like we've already lost so much mass or so much durability. Like, where do you, f what, 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 what weapon works with this? Whirls? 200 durability? I, what, like, what are we doing here? So, turreted cannons. I should be going to the factions and the tech tree. In reality, the ones that have the absolute most durability, the ones that will receive the maximum benefit and actually stand to live long enough to be healed, would be these. Typhoons, Mastodons, Mammoths, and Tsunamis. Those are the only ones. And technically the fat man, but you're you're stretching it. That's 400 durability. And technically the elephant. These are stretching it. This definitely not. No, no. That just is 400 durability. No, these get str just stripped off your. No, anything below anything below these five doesn't. There's no hit points on it. Like 729. So in reality, what they wanted to do, uh, what you wanted to do, uh, I'm sorry, 661 was the breaker. Everyone wanted that to work with the Breaker, because the Breaker can survive a hit, right? So if you were able to combine the Master with the Breaker, you'd have had a good combination. But you can't, because as you saw, the Weld Points are on the side of the Master Cabin. And that makes the Breakers garbage. The reason why Breakers are good is because they can spin around and be fully protected, and when you take damage, blah, blah, blah. You can... Imagine taking damage and just repairing them with this shit. That would've been amazing. Would've been amazing. Can't do it. It's trash. So... I'm looking desperately to see a weapon that would be good. Theoretically, barely the scorpion. Barely the scorpion. And that's barely. The executioners are, used to be my favorite gun, but their durability is much too low for their size. They are very large to have only 500 durability. They are very easily stripped. Like they should have more durability just based on their hitbox. But then again, what are you gonna do, right? <clears throat> So yeah, that's the reason why the Master sucks. The reason why this sucks is because there's no weapon that goes here. There's no weapon. What weapon go here? Incinerators? Front facing what? Like the idea is you'd have repairable incinerators. Sure. Uh, but you know what's better than that? The Blight Cabin? Just having your incinerator puddles larger is too good. So the problem with the Master Cabin is not the perk. The problem is not even the bad geometry. The problem is that it's bad perk and geometry combined with the fact that there's nothing that you can, there's nothing here that supports it. There's nothing here that goes on those nodes. Pulsars? Sure, you can put a pulsar there. It's got plenty of durability. Like, 693 is pretty good durability. It'll repair for like 300 something, but even then, like, it's ass. You're re the time it takes to repair, the fact that you're exposing your cabin, the fact the cabin overheats, the fact that the cabin is going to be in the goddamned way. Like, even if you were to put the pulsar on this thing, look at this. It's like the cabin's in the way. And the other problem is the cabin is in the goddamn way. The problem when I say the cabin is in the goddamn way is the problem goes a little something like this. You can't put the cabin at the back of your build because it has to be exposed. Some part of this cabin is going to be exposed because of the fact that if you put weapons on the sides, like if you put a weapon there, like you put an executioner over here, you're like, I'm trying to make it easy. There's an opening. There's a broad opening, six pins wide, that's going to exist in the middle of your freaking build. It's going to be massive. It's going to be massive. That is why the master fails. That is the reason why the master is a D tier cabin. It is not good. Cross out itself doesn't. Thank you, Friendship Bunny. She can take comfort in the fact that their, her life cannot get worse than this. And then we're talking about the Master Cabin. That is how bad the Master Cabin is, chat. Friendship Bunny believes that her life can't get worse. That's the Master Cabin for you. It's just bad. 
This is the reason why it's never gonna sell. Nobody wants this thing. There are no builds for this. It isn't because of the fact that it isn't, the best way to put it is, is there's, there's no build for this. What are you gonna have it do? Like genuinely, think about it. Think of any build. I guarantee you there's a cabin that exists that will do it better. I guarantee it. What would you have it do? Because you're trying to get whatever's attached to the master cabin to take the damage, not your cabin. That way, when you repair it, you're good. You're like, oh, you're, you damaged my guns, and now I'm repairing my guns. Joke's on you, sucker. Rah. Well, you can do better. You want to go to the exhibition for the Master Cabin? So I want you guys to see this. Whenever you look up the Master Cabin on the exhibition, you're going to find some funny stuff. Which is to say, a whole lot of art builds. They're going to look like trucks. This is fun. This one's fun. It's a little skateboard. Look at this. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a skateboard car. Woo-wee! Skateboard car. You're going to find that. You're gonna find, uh, what, there's lots of things that look like trucks. Look at this truck. You're gonna find a lot of stuff. Let's go to weekly instead of all time, because all time favorite, look at this, weekly. Someone, what is this? Someone managed to make a two, two a dual hover with the new garbage missile. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, what is it? What are we doing? What are we doing, Chad? What are, what are we doing? What, what are we even doing? What, what are we doing? It's just, what, what are we fucking doing? Like, this is trash. This guy's trying to make a master... Oh my, what are we, what are we doing here, chat? Um, what are we doing? What, what are we even doing here, chat? So this guy is trying to make a spark harvester build. Like, shit you not, I can't make this shit up. This is a master spark harvester. The master cabin is designed, in this instance, to keep the harvesters alive. Which is okay. Except it handles like fucking goat ass. All right, what, what are we fucking doing here? Like, well, this isn't even using the perk. The master's just in there. It's just in there somewhere. It's not even using the perk. Like this is the problem, right? You're basically running perkless. Wait, what's this one? Hold on a sec. This one might be a thing. It's not, it's not, it's not a thing, chat. This guy has four repairable shotguns. There's no point to this. Why are you using the Master Cabin? This is defended enough. You've got 5 billion hit points around your shotguns. Fucking, you... He really doesn't want to lose his shotguns, apparently. I don't know what this says in Russian, but it probably says something like, fuck the Master Cabin. Um, what, are we, what are we doing here, chat? I think this is supposed to be, like, a fusion where, like... This guy helps someone else fly. This, this this is master cabin chat. This is the best mines. This is the best Russian mines could come up with. Look at this. The best the best Russian mines could come up with. These are the builds. These are this weekly's builds met the master cabin. Nothing uses it, and nothing will, because the master cabin doesn't fit into crossout. So this guy's trying to. This is the best use of the master cabin I've seen. Not even joking. God, I wish I were joking. Why is this the best use of the Master Cabin? Because this guy is actively using the Master Cabin to repair his engine and repair a bumper on the right side of his Master Cabin. And that's all. It's just repairing those two things. Other than that, it's just a flame dog. Repairs a bumper. Repairs a engine. Everything else is... What are these? Remedies? Remedies. It's just terrible. Just bad. God, what is... Oh my... Oh my... Oh, oh my, oh, oh my, what is this? What are we doing here, chat? What are we, what are we, what are we doing here, chat? What are we doing here? It's just, what, what are we doing here, chat? Like, fucking crap. There's no good master build. I've tried. I genuinely have. I actually sat down and I was like, you know what? People are saying the master cabin's ass. I gave this a S tier rating in the dark, so I'm going to make it a, a meta build the master cabin i didn't i failed i straight up failed chat i couldn't do it because what, what are we doing here i don't even what are you there's, there's not even a master cabin this is, what are you doing you don't even give a shit is, ah. the perk doesn't do anything these are all the best builds with the master cabin and they don't do anything this thing repairs a, a, an 80 dirt no that's not right that's a 40 durability part, so it heals 20. So that's the problem. 
The problem is that you can't leverage the Master Cavern Master Cabin's perk effectively. These are the best that you're gonna get in the entire game. And these are just, just machine gun spiders. The little bitty machine gun spiders are the best that you're gonna do because the machine guns attach to the side of the master cabin and the master cabin covers itself with with train plows. And that's it. It's a little low tier uh, machine gun walker. Uh, and it's not good. It isn't good. It's just a low tier machine gun walker. That's it. And that's truly the best you're gonna get out of the master. And look at how close to max weight this is. It's, this is truly the best you're going to get. And that isn't good enough. You think the goblin's the best one? Jesus Christ, Haynes. Haynes is trolling. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to try something. Uh, I think there's a couple of tsunami builds out there that function, but they're not very good. Nope. All time. These are all the tsunami builds in existence. I think this is the one that I used. This is the only one that I used uh, to give it a try, and it's it exists. It's not good. Um, Typhoon. Zero builds. Zero builds. Zero builds. Zero builds. Didn't expect that. One build. This is the one fucking master cabin. Oh my god, I gotta test this. What is this shit? This is part of a fusion. It's meant to fuse to somebody else and just be two fucking cannons on the side of a fucking thing. This is this is a comedy channel. The, the the master cabin is trash. Like, what possible weapon could you connect to it? There isn't one. Porcupines. Porcupines. Okay, wait a minute. Porcupines could work. Not like this guy's... Actually, exactly like this guy's using them. This works. Okay, this works. Porcupines are the only weapon I could conceive of that would actually work with, well with the Master Cabin. Because everyone's going to try and shoot your porks off. And uh, yeah, you just use your porks to block. This could do it. This is the first truly legitimate build I could ever say see with the Master Cabin. I think it's legitimate. It doesn't handle well. It handles like balls. Uh, like major balls. Uh, and this is with the Colossus. Oh man, this is with the Colossus. Yeah, I mean, but they're going to throw damage in there anyway. And keeping your porks alive is always important regardless. Why does this handle like balls? Look at how bad this handles. I am turning in the other direction. All right, watch this chat. Three, two, one, turning in the other direction now. It handles like shit, but I think porks are the answer. I don't know how they're the answer. Maybe this is the answer? Here we go, pork armor. I, I don't know. I think porcupines are it. I believe they would be the only way. And none of these guys have found a decent way to do it. So, like, I can't think of a weapon that actually mounts to that that matters. Nope. 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 Yeah, so that's the problem. That's the reason why the Master Cabin's ass. That's the reason why the Master Cabin will never sell. Yada, yada, yada. All right, chat. I don't want to waste any more of your time talking about the Master Cabin being complete butt cheeks. It is butt cheeks of only the most complete variety. Uh, but, regardless of that, I have a prior engagement. So I'm going to actually kick you guys off. Someone else. Who is actually doing very, very well for himself. Oh, snap. You're going to love this. I'm going to send you to a guy who is a ultra meta. Rotfish Bandit is the guy who kicked my ass. He will continue to kick my ass. He is kicking my ass all over the place, and he's kicking everybody else's ass in this arena. So I'm going to kick you guys off to Rotfish Bandit. I hope you have a great time watching him just shit all over every new player in the arena. I hope you guys have fun in the arena. I will be back tomorrow most likely or some other time later. 
Uh, other than that, peace. Thank you very much for joining me for the three hours I stream today. I hope you guys have a good one. All right. Thank you again, Haynes. My main supporter, my main man, Haynes. Peace.